General Honorable, Honorable Leader of the Opposition Party, did you do that? No, Honorable Member, please. Honorable, Honorable Leader of the Opposition Party, did you do that other than scratching your head? No, Honorable Member. Order. Honorable Member, I expect you to do better than that. If that is what you did, I expect you to do better than that. You are a leader of a political party. Honorable Member. Honorable Member. Honorable Steinhazen. I expect you to do better than that. Have I found you? Chairperson, thank you very much. But I wanted to remind the DA that Israel has killed 94 professors in Gaza and shut down the 12 universities. That is why the DA with Israel. Please take your seats. Thank you. Honorable members, uh, honorable members, uh, business is now suspended. We have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about, African politics, economy, and increasing power. Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it. Let's continue now. Honorable A.M. Shaikh Imam. Thank you, Honorable Chairperson. Mr. President, I hear some of my colleagues raising concerns about Hamas. Let me explain to these people what the scenario or situation is in Palestine. There are children dangling with limbs blown off or crawling, screaming with their dying breaths. And you know what their mothers are doing, Chairperson? Their mothers are looking for the heads of their children that are so badly, so badly decomposed that they cannot even identify them. But yet we have political parties in this house that are trying to justify the massacre and the genocide that's taking place in the Palestine, particularly right now in Rafah. But let me give a loud and clear message to the Democratic Alliance. If you think that the people of this country are going to allow you and take this beautiful country, city of Cape Town of ours, and hand it over to the Zionists, the city of Cape Town will be a bloodbath, I can assure you that. We will not allow you to take this and sell it and sell your principles, your ethics and values like you have just pawned the land in the Western Cape to the United States and others, we will not allow you to make this a Jewish state. So my message to all South Africans is loud and clear. If you want another Palestine in the Western Cape, you want to go back to the days of apartheid, then support the Zionist state of Palestine, which we believe violating their rights, this you Western Cape, this city of Cape Town that has been violating for a long period of time. So if you want them to continue, I want to say to you, you will pay the ultimate price. The draconian laws that they are now introducing, the freedom of speech that they are now restricting, I hear them talking about how well things are in the Western Cape. There is no poor white in the entire Western Cape, according to the latest survey. But almost 40% of blacks and coloreds are poor. 
City of Cape Town is the alcohol city of the country. They're not talking about that. Eight rapes in schools in three months, they're not talking about that. What about the people in Paro Park? Do you know what is happening there, Chairperson? The white tenants, listen to this, the white tenants are paying lower rent than the colored tenants in Paro Park. Go and have a look at it and go and see how they are being treated. We talk about workers' rights. What about the rights of those taxi drivers who work from 4 a.m. to 9 p.m. with no benefits whatsoever? What are you doing about the Koi and San and the Cape Corps? You have totally alienated them. No respect for them, but you live on the land that belongs rightfully to them. And I am calling on the Cape Corps. I'm calling on all members of the colored community and the black community and the Koi and San. Rise and rise now against the Western Cape. Rise today before it is too late. Many communities in South Africa continue to suffer. The Indian community in Malagasy, in Shaka's Kral, in Clare Estate, all have been marginalized. We're talking about crime, but look at the state of the police officers in this country. At a disgraceful 13 rand danger allowance, living in shacks and shanty towns. Have any of you done anything? But I can tell you what, more money is being given to the Western Cape to provide to their police force that they have implemented just to violate the rights of others. But the time is coming. The time is coming when you will pay the ultimate price. As you conclude, On honorable land, member. We are saying, Mr. President, we are saying to you, there is no reason and no reason why this Western Cape government cannot identify every family in this province, in every municipality, and right now subdivide the land and give every one of them a piece of land. Don't worry about the electricity, water and sanitation. You can give them. Why haven't you done that? You won't do it because you want these people to come begging to you day in Your and day out. Your time is up, Honorable Member. Thank you very much. Next is speaker is uh, Honorable Reverend K. R. J. Michoué. Honorable President, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Deputy President, I want to comment on a few things the President referred to in his speech particularly when he reminded this House that he was the chairperson of the Constitutional Assembly and that he worked with many great leaders of our country to craft the South African Constitution. In his concluding remarks, the President said, and I want to quote him again, guided by the fundamental principle of human rights and freedom, we have taken up the Palestinian cause to prevent further deaths and destruction in Gaza. Close quote. Speaker, I now want to tell this House why I don't believe that this government's efforts will yield any lasting fruits or even stop the hostilities between Israel and Palestine, particularly in Gaza. But, Speaker, before I tell this House what I believe can and will help end the war in Gaza, I want to firstly express the ACDP's sadness at the tremendous loss of innocent lives and destruction of property in Gaza. That is why I believe that this government and the international community can end the war in Gaza within three weeks to a month if they want to. They will have to do the following if they are serious about ending the war. Firstly, they should prevail on Hamas to release all remaining hostages hidden in their tunnels. Secondly, the ANC and international community should order Hamas to destroy all tunnels under Gaza, particularly those leading into Israel. Thirdly, Hamas and the international community must accept the right of Israel to exist within safe and secure borders. 
without these fundamental agreements in place, that war will never end and the dream of a two-state solution will never materialize. Speaker, if it is not possible to live in peace next to a, a neighbor who has vowed to remove you from the face of the earth, it is not possible for Israel to live in peace next to Hamas who has vowed to repeat the despicable atrocities they carried out on the 7th of October last year, which reportedly included rape, murder, abductions, and beheadings. The ACDP longs to see peace between Israel and Palestine, but this won't be possible up until the right of Israel to exist within safe and secure borders has been acknowledged and agreed to. Taking Israel to the International Court of Justice will not improve the situation there. Honorable Government members, order, honorable members. Heckling and so on is not such a bad idea. But if you drown a speaker, you are really going beyond the bounds. Please proceed. Honorable Michel. I, I, I want to remind the ANC today that Isaiah 54, 17 says that no weapon that is formed against Israel shall prosper and every tongue that rises against her in judgment she will condemn. ANC, you have gone too far and your judgment As you is conclude, imminent. Honorable Member. When the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob said he will bless those who bless Israel and curse those who curse her. He was not joking, but he meant every word he said. You have invited the curse on yourself and you are going to get it. Responding to the president's Your letter. time is up. Reverend Mishwe, the Bible we have just quoted is supposed to spread love. What happened to those shall not kill? What happened to those shall not kill in the Bible? The apartheid government used the Bible to justify the genocide it was committing in our country. You cannot justify genocide in Palestine through the Bible. You can only spread love. You can only spread togetherness. You can only spread peace with the Bible. It cannot be used for what Reverend Mishra wants to use the Bible for. President Ramaphosa will Your return time is here up. to deliver the State of the Nation Address. Have I told you? Members, please take your seats. I now invite the Honorable Hendricks to take the floor. President, President Ramaphosa, minutes after your sauna, the SABC wanted a score out of 10. I had to duck and dive. After all, in Parliament you told the nation you will cheer for Al Jama, as Al Jama does not have members of Parliament to cheer. The reporter nagged me for a score and I gave you six out of 10. But, but today, President, I give you 10 out of 10. A round of applause.
10 out of 10 because President Ramaphosa, you revived the Universal Declaration of Human Rights and giving it life by using internationally recognized institutions. In this case, the International Court of Justice for interim measures to put an end to the genocide in Gaza. You went further and laid a criminal charge at another international court, the International Criminal Court, that a warrant of arrest for war crimes be laid against Netanyahu. Yesterday, you asked the IUC, ICJ to stop genocide in Rafa. President Ramaphosa, you have done South Africa proud more than any other South African leader with your support for the convention and the liquoration. At this point in our history, it is befitting to pay tribute to all the Palestinian resistance movements led by Hamas, like we pay tribute to the resistance movements led by the ANC for the freedoms we enjoy today. You talk about arrest warrants, President. Arrest warrants for complicity must also be issued in South Africa to religious leaders like a respected rabbi and organizations like the board and the federation. These organizations, President, must be shut down. Political parties who support genocide do not deserve space on the ballot paper. I vote for the DA, ACDP, Freedom Front Plus and the Allies will be a vote for complicity and non-compliance with the Convention on Genocide and the Universal Declaration of Human Rights. al Jamaa unambiguously stated that we will never forget those South African political parties like the DA, ACDP, Freedom Front Plus, Patriotic Alliance, Bobusa and others for having pledged their brazen support for the Zionist state's agenda Honourable, to continue Honourable to commit the audacious acts Honourable of Hendricks, despite, despite Honourable the ICJ's Honourable Hendricks, there's a point of order. Will you take the chair, please? Take a seat. Honourable member at the back. Thanks, uh, Honourable Speaker. Uh, I'm rising here on uh, a point of order to the leader of uh, the opposition who indicated through gestures that the speaker on the floor is mad. And he's still laughing at it because he's actually dignating. Uh, that's the order, Chair. Thank you. The one with no metric. Thank you. Generally, Honorable, Honorable Leader of the Opposition Party, did you do that? No, Honorable Leader, please. Honorable, Honorable Leader of the Opposition Party, did you do that other than scratching your head? No, Honorable Member. Order. Honorable Member, I expect you to do better than that. If that is what you did, I expect you to do better than that. You are a leader of a political party. Honorable Member. Honorable Member. Honorable Stan Hazen. I expect you to do better than that. I didn't hear. What's your response? No, it's not done, Honorable Member. Order! Honorable Stan Hazen, you know what? At times, as we grew up, as you were talking, people would use their hands talking you down and creating an impression that what you are saying, the truth you are saying is mad. is madness in your head. Don't do it. Don't do it, Honorable Member. Don't repeat it. There are no members who have taken the floor who are mad in this house. No, Honorable Member. 
Honorable Member Steinhazen, you may take it light, but actually it is wrong. Yes, because you are suggesting that the member is mad. He is not mad. He is simply addressing the House and is speaking the truth. Thank you. Yes. Yes, Honorable Member. Honorable Shakute. Thank you very much, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, we cannot have leaders of political parties misleading this House. I want to suggest that you go through the video and come back with a considered ruling. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Honorable Jagute. I will go through the footage and I will rule. Thank you very much, Honorable Zakute. Thank you, Honorable Stenhazen. I will go through the footage and I will come back and rule. And I will rule tomorrow. Now, Honorable Hendrik, continue. Honorable Speaker, chocolates mm. in Franzhoek are more important than genocide for the Premier of the Western Cape. Aldama recognizes that great achievements have been made over the past 30 years considering where we are coming from. Honorable Speaker, you cannot imagine what harm apartheid caused when the ANC took over in 1994. But this doesn't mean that Al Jamaa does not hold the governing party accountable. Al Jamaa does this in spite of the chair of the ANC lamenting we voted against an ANC matter three times in a row. And Al Jamaa wants to share its further expectations after the State of the Nation address. We want President Ramaphosa to once again take the lead and call for two referendums. The first one, that there be a referendum in occupied Palestine, and the second referendum in all of Palestine, from the river to the sea. The referendum must answer the question if the people of Palestine wants a two-state solution or a unitary state. The second referendum must answer the question whether Palestinians and Israelis want a unitary state with one man, one vote. Now that South Africa has shown its commitment to the Universal Declaration of Human Rights by asking for an investigation by the National Court of Justice that is a plausible case that Israel has committed genocide, it is clear that the civilized world foreseen by the Universal Declaration of Human Rights is no more because of the complicity of America, England, Germany and France who are in the forefront of a civilized world. Sona, in referring to the events in Gaza, gives President Ramaphosa a moral obligation on behalf of South Africans to launch a new humanitarian I thank civilization. You, member. Your time is up. Thank you very much. Order, honorable members. Honorable members, there is rule two states that. No member shall use unparliamentary, offensive, abusive, insulting, disrespectful, unbecoming language or sounds, or offensive or threatening gestures. And I just want to make the point, Honorable Stenhazen, I am reading the rules, and I am saying to you, tomorrow I will rule on the matter because I will go through the video. And if you are found that you did exactly what the member is raising, you shall have used unparliamentary language in terms of Rule 52. Honorable Stan Hazen, leader of the opposition party. Malazzi? Mal Honorable Malazzi? Do you want to watch more videos like this one? If yes, subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon next to it.
we have decided to bring videos on something nobody talks about African politics, economy, and increasing power. Thanks for watching, and until the next video, stay tuned. Tell us what you think in the comment section. Like and share the video, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our African videos. It's the best way to support us.